Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix your Devolt DCB115 quick charger. Now this particular charger I actually imported from the US, which uh, they run on 110 volt, and um, in, or actually anything between 110 and 120 volt. I'm situated in South Africa, and our country uh, voltage is anything between 220 and 240 volts. So um, obviously I, I did actually plug it in without knowing that it was not automatically adjusting the voltage. And I'm quickly going to show you guys what happens when I switch on the plug on the, the 100, uh, 240 volts. First, very, very important, obviously, um, when you when you put your battery in, make sure that it clicks down. A lot of people just lay it down like that. They should actually click in fully all the way. But you can see it's inconsistent light. Now, I'm going to show you what the issue is exactly. Just switching off the plug, removing it from the wall socket, and then disconnecting the battery. I've already turned around and disconnected uh, or removed all four um, screws. So I can actually just go ahead and pull off the cover. Pulling off the cover by while pushing out the, the connection plate it makes it a little bit easier. You can just remove the entire circuitry with the wire running around the side. Well, as you know, I just plugged in the, the charger in a 220 or as you say, a 240 uh, volts wall socket and um, it damaged the capacitor. You can actually feel on the capacitor, it actually um, isn't level as it should be. It's uh, a little bit of a curve on top. Um, interesting fact, these crosses are actually there for um, safety. So when they do pop, so they call, or um, burst, then actually burst on the top upwards and not sideways, damaging any other circuitry and causing a fire. Um, so this capacitor is standard uh, 200 volt um, 220 microfarads um, capacitor and that is for 120 volt and we need to replace that with um, the, the 400 of a volt or a 450 volt now the voltage you the voltage needs to be in the 400 range um, at least minimum 400 um, your microfarad can be either 100 or 150 so if you've got a 4, 4, 450 150 or 400, 150, either of those gonna work. Uh, basically, we're just gonna replace this with that one. And um, on this circuit board, we're also gonna put in two um, ceramic uh, ceramic uh, resistors. The reason for ceramic resistors, obviously they take heat a lot better. So um, this is a five, a five watt, a 0 0.33 ohms uh, resistor. And we're gonna put the one in on that um, little jumper there. And the other one, we're gonna put on the jumper here on the front, as you can see right there. So you're gonna put the other one right there. So um, let's quickly start it and see, see how it goes. Now you need to obviously put it back it's more or less the same way and that the white line indicates um, I think the positive. You know what would be nice now? If my batteries weren't flat and I can actually use my drill to drill that bigger. As you guys saw, there are round circles within that rectangular, and those circles are for the positive side, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I'm speaking under correction, or I might be speaking under correction, but um, I just saw that the one side of both resistors were a slight bit longer. So make sure that the one side went into that, the longer side went through the circle, and same on the side. Um, as you saw in the video, I had to extend the capacitor's um, connections 
as they were just a little bit too thick and a little bit too short. So I just quickly, uh, I'm gonna test everything before I close it up. So I'm gonna connect the battery on. Put the battery, just let it rest just like that. Uh, let's quickly plug in the charger in the wall socket and switch it on. And there you go. And at the same time, let's quickly switch it off. Okay, and switch it back on again. Working 100%. Now I can just flip it over, cut off all the connections and um, assemble everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, if you did, please like and um, yeah, take care.